straight back. Here you go. So Portia has suicides. Welcome back, Portia. Welcome back. Um, she's getting back into the groove, the routine. She has suicides. So what these are is Portia's gonna start at her heaviest. She's gonna move it. She's now at a 40. She's got another set of 10. This is non-stop. Control it, Portia. Always on. Arm, arms always extended. There you go. So she got that. Then she's going to move it to 25. Now she has 25 of them. So these are suicides, y'all. Arms always extended. There you go. So I'm trying to place you guys where you guys can see me. So right now you're sitting in my cabinet. But oh my gosh, so much has been going on. And I just have to fill you guys in. So I just left the gym. So that's why I'm looking a little raggedy or whatever. Today is Wednesday. Um, I went to the gym Monday and Tuesday. Um, trying to do two days. I did two days yesterday. I'm off from work this week, but we're going to get into all that. So, I just left GNC. I'm about to cook me some breakfast, but I went to GNC because... Is the same protein I have? Nope. I had to get some more protein, so I ended up getting this um, protein right here. And I got me some women's multi multivitamins i don't know yeah so women's multivitamins and then I, i'm also going to try this slim i'm also going to try yeah this is kind of hard but I'm trying to get it to focus it won't focus but i got this slim bands come on camera i got this slim bands from um GNC, GNC, and a six times more weight loss, three times hips and hip and waist reduction. They have this in caffeinated and non-caffeinated, but I just went ahead and got the non-caffeinated because I don't really do coffee or anything like that. And this is a 30-day supply, so 60 capsules, and you have to take two a day. So we're gonna see how this works out, and I will let you guys know. Um, how all this goes and I went and got me a hydro flask because these things are awesome I just never got one because I didn't want to pay for it but you know it's worth it so I just went ahead and got one of these as well so the last time you guys seen me let's see um, it's been so long I haven't uploaded in so long because of what's been going on like i've had footage with everything so the last time you guys really seen me is my um seafood seafood bowl and then i did a a hat review or whatever and that was all the way that was a month ago when i did that <laughs> so yes i have been out of the loop Let's see if i can move y'all Kind of hard because I don't have anything to switch out on. But yes, I have been out of the loop. So, um, since then I had a birthday. My birthday was on March 1st. Um, I was in a class. I went back to Fort Jackson in South Carolina. I was in class for a week. Um, had fun there. Um, there has been promotions. There has been events going on. Everything that I have footage for, but I just never uploaded it because of my time. And everything kept happening, one thing after another, or whatever. So, um, on March 11th, you know, I found out some news 
my grandfather passed away so I had to go on emergency leave and technically I wasn't worried about this camera at all I wasn't worried about filming anything at all because my family comes first and you know that was a time that I just really really wanted to be around my family make sure everything was good to go for my grandfather and his um celebration of life or home going or whatever you guys call it so that's what I have been dealing with I just got back to California last Friday. I don't know the date, but I'm still off from work. I don't go back to work until Monday because I'm still just trying to take my time going back to work. So I'm basically still just trying to get back in the groove of things. There are still things that need to be handled back at home. So I'm trying to help my family out with that as well while trying to accomplish what i need to accomplish but you know that's all in a day's work you guys we just got to continue to stay strong continue to be there for one another and do what we have to do you know things happen unexpectedly and we just have to learn to adjust so my family is still adjusting and to all my friends that reached out to me during that time um, I just want to say thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you guys for that. I didn't let anyone know because, you know, I'm a little bit sensitive and private when it comes to, like, things going on with my family or whatever. So, I didn't let anyone know um, except for my friends. They knew because, of course, I told them. Good morning, guys. Today is actually Thursday. Um, yesterday I didn't do anything but clean up, wash clothes, clean up, organize some things. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, I am currently on my way to the wellness center. So, this way. You know how I told you guys that. Um, I'm trying to get fit like I'm trying to get my body like where it needs to be so I'm going to the wellness center today to do a metabolic test and um, I'm basically going to get told like how much fat is in my body and tell them how much weight I want to lose and they give you suggestions on what to do and then you have to have three sessions with them I guess to see if you improved but my like there is I do need to put on my seatbelt so the rules was kind of like strict a little bit I just see my crush run by. <laughs> that was funny, huh? But the rules are kind of strict a little bit because you can't work out 14 hours before the test. You can't eat five hours. You can't put on sunscreen. You can't put on lotion. My face is so freaking ashy right now. Oh my gosh, because I can't put on any lotion. Nothing. Like. <sighs> You have to wear a sports bra with no padding. You have to wear like compression shorts or spandex or a bathing suit. So I'm gonna try my best to, no, no, I don't have a mount. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys um, as much as I can, if they say I can without it being uncomfortable. But I, my appointment's not until nine. I came early because since I wasn't at work, I couldn't print out the paperwork myself and bring it so I just um <clears throat> they say come early so you can print out the paper I mean fill out the, <sighs> the necessary paperwork my body is so sore because I've been working out so much I'm so tired and I don't feel good for some reason but you know what? It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, my face. 
So the wellness center is the same place. Y'all remember when I used to show you guys the gym called the box? That's where the wellness center is located. I already know my numbers are probably gonna be horrific. I'm like fat. I think I'm fat, but we'll see. I'll let, I'll let you guys know when I get in there. Okay, so I just got done doing the metabolic testing. So that's where you lay down for 15 minutes and they put like this hair cover over your head and you're doing your regular breathing. So now I'm getting ready to do the bipod. And it looks like a little spaceship or something. But this is the bipod. I'm gonna have to sit in there for about two minutes. And this measures your body fat, right? Yes. It measures body your percentage. body fat percentage. So it's getting calibrated right now. I'm just gonna sit in there and I'll let you guys know what the results are. Okay guys, so I am done. Let's just say I gotta lose some weight because, um, so afterwards she gave me my results. So in the military, in the army, we get taped or whatever. And um, sometimes the tape isn't really, I'm not going to say accurate, but this is more accurate, a more accurate testing than the tape or whatever. So probably in the army, I would measure up to be, measure up to have 31 to 32% um, body fat. But over here, I was at 35% body fat, which isn't good at all. So... I just need to lose all of that. I'm hot. I need to lose that. Um, I need to be eating 1,200 calories per day. But if I work out, I got to add more to that. So between 1,200 and 16 calories a day. But I do typically work out every day and I burn a lot of calories. But I got to get me a watch because I need to know how many calories I burned. I had a Fitbit before, but I don't know. I lost that, but I need to invest in me a watch. So I might go look at getting one of those. I don't know yet, but that's what's going on. Morning. So today is actually Friday. So I'm headed to work. I decided to go. I decided to um, go to work today on Friday because Fridays are um, really slow days for us and we get off early. So, and this was my Friday to work. So I decided to go ahead and go to work today because I need to do a lot of stuff. I need to check my email because I'm going to be in the class all next week that I forgot about. So I'm headed to work right now. And thank God I didn't have to put on my uniform. So I was like, there's even more reason to go to work, you know, why not? Still trying to get to this watch, get used to this watch being on my arm. Um, I was um, trying to get my nose ring situated. So that took a little bit of time this morning, so I wasn't able to make me any breakfast, but it's okay. I got my protein shake, I got my grapes, I got my water. No excuses, like there are ways that you could get it done. So, sorry, the sun won't let me be great. But um, I'm about to pull up to work right now. I don't even know how to feel, y'all. I've been out of work for like, feels like forever, but it's only been like, maybe like two and a half weeks or some shit. I've been going for a hot minute. I didn't do it. Let's go ahead and <laughs> some soda over here. Trying to open it with this, thinking that this is a freaking bottle opener, and then waste all the red soda. I know. And now she over here got to clean it up because everything's sticky. Look at this. I knew that was red. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Oh, um, she just made that for me. I'm gonna tell her I lost it. <laughs> Bring me another one. <laughs> oh God. Hey guys, so today is um, Saturday. You guys seen me yesterday, I was at work. Um, so yesterday after work, 
I went on a date <laughs> and um, this guy has been like asking me to go out on a date with him for the longest, the longest and I will always like push him to the curve because uh, I wasn't interested, you know, like, and there's a lot that comes with me not being interested like there's other factors as to why i wasn't interested or whatever but you know so yesterday when i got off of work my plan was for me to go get my feet done or whatever and go get my eyebrows done so yesterday i only made it to get my eyebrows done and i'm gonna tell you why it's because um i just was like you know what I just need to do something or whatever. I haven't did anything in a while, so why not just go ahead and take him up on his offer? So I was like, okay. So our plan was to leave at like 5, 5.30ish so I can make it to the nail place in time because remind you guys, we have to drive like 35, 40 minutes to even get to the next town over and that's where everything is. So I was like, okay, whatever. But I ended up having to do something so that pushed the time back and we weren't able to leave until 6. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to get my toes done. But I did make it to the eyebrow place before 7. So we did um, go stop by and do that. And he was so nice he paid for me to get my eyebrows done too. So we went to eat at Chili's. Um because that's where I wanted to eat it. I don't know why I like chili so much, but that's where we went to Chili's. And then he was trying to go to a drive through movie, but I'm kind of scared of drive through movies. So I was like, I don't really want to do that or whatever. So I just didn't go to the drive through movie. So we went to see, uh, we went to the actual movie theater, which is a nice movie theater. They, their seats actually recline like you sitting back child if i had a blanket i probably would have fell asleep that's how cozy it was so yeah we went to the movies to see acrimony and i'm not going to spoil for the people that did not see the movie but i do want to speak on a little bit of the subject of how things are in life and what i mean by that is a lot of times us females we give out too much we let people take advantage of us because of love we blame we blame it on love or whatever so we let people take advantage of us and we will do anything to see that person happy to where we set ourselves aside to where we're not happy or whatever and that can be draining on your life that can cause you to not do a lot of things in your life that you want to do that can cause you to not move forward and just live a happy life live your best life or whatever because we're blinded by the fact that we're trying to make sure our significant other is living out their dreams that we're willing to set our dreams aside and when i think that both of us or both of the people should be building on their dreams and not just i'm going to put my all into your basket and then we're gonna wait to see what happens with you so at what point do you be like enough is enough right and then you have the other people in your ear it can be your friends it can be your family anything like that telling you that you know you need to move on or this isn't right or what you're doing is crazy this and that of course you have those people in your ear sometimes you listen to them and sometimes you don't but at the same time it's like you know they're right but you don't want to believe them because you might believe in your significant other or whatever so at what point do you decide to keep moving forward with that person and keep believing in their dreams and what point do you be like enough is enough do you let years and years and years pass and nothing has happened and then y'all still in the same predicament or do you just be like halt or whatever so on the other side of that is i believe it's kind of contradicting because some people are too quick to give up on people or whatever like i'm all for people going after their dreams going after what they want and greatness does not happen overnight I'm all for people like trying to live their dreams and reach their dreams, fulfill their dreams, but I think it should be 50-50. Like I, I can't sit up here and help somebody that don't want to be helped. 
and um if years go by and with and nothing has changed you might want to just be like okay i'm moving on or whatever but i know i love this person but then just say that person's dreams come true right that person's dreams come true everything that that person talked about they got it everything that they wanted to do they did it because they believed in themselves and they kept pushing and pushing and pushing right but y'all done it's over with but you was the one that's sacrificing your time your money your sleep everything but then that person leaves and that person becomes a better person sometimes it works out like that to where either you weren't meant to be in that person's life or that person wasn't meant to be in your life. And that's some things that we want, don't want to accept because at the same time, we're the one that may have put all the time into it. But, and then another person come along and they got all of the stuff that you were supposed to get and all of the benefits and all of the time and everything. So that's kind of hard for people to actually see or whatever so it's like two sides so you gotta ask yourself are you that person that's not going to wait around or are you that person that's going to stick around to death do you part do whatever it is or whatever but it's kind of hard for a woman to be doing all the work working two jobs just to give a man money like it's not supposed to be like that but then they blow up like it's crazy and then they not to get no more and I'm, I'm speaking on this because i watched acrimony yesterday and i'm um not gonna go too much into it but it makes you think about a lot that movie makes you think about a lot of stuff so if you haven't seen it you should definitely go see that movie um we weren't even supposed to see that. Like, we were just trying to figure out. I forgot Acrimony even came out. And he was like, Acrimony. He was just listening. I was like, oh, yeah, let's go see Acrimony. You know, I love Taraji anyway. So I was like, yeah, let's go see Acrimony. And it actually turned out to be a good movie to where you just, like, either you've been in that situation, you almost was in that situation, you are in that situation. Like, it actually makes you think about a lot of stuff. So, if you haven't seen Acrimony, make sure you guys go see Acrimony. Um, definitely, a definitely, definitely, definitely a really good movie. So, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit about that. I'm actually about to end this vlog, but my next vlog will start with this kind of, sort of, ish. So, I hope you guys are having a blessed day, a blessed week, a blessed month, and I hope that you continue to have blessings upon you and i will see you guys in my next vlog